What's up, YouTube? How's it going, guys and gals? This is the Atomic J, and uh, this is another domination game on Summit, going for montage moments like that tomahawk off the spawn. Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't hit it. <laughs> uh, yes, guys. But anyways, how you guys doing today? Uh, as I said to you guys before in my previous commentary, I'm going to be getting rid of all my Black Ops gameplays, and uh, this is one of them. And uh, it is pretty lengthy, but this is probably the longest one I have in my uh, saved up in my hard drive right now. And uh, the, the subject that I wanted to cover is pretty lengthy as well, so I just figured, all right, let me just get this one out of the way, and uh, that way we can move on and move forward with the other ones and, you know, get the smaller ones done really fast. Um, I actually thought I had a lot more gameplays than I did, but I only have, like, maybe, like, three or four after this. But anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, what I wanted to cover to you guys in this commentary, or what I want to talk about uh, mostly, anyway, uh, is going to be the how my how my playstyle has transitioned uh, over the years from since I was a child to now uh, as a commentator and a montage guy, um, and it's just it's just kind of because I actually thought about this like how my, how I've played like for instance when I played this game on Summit my first thought like as soon as I like spawned in like seen it was Summit on the on the little uh, uh, screen I was like oh snap well I'm gonna go in that spot by the A spawn and wait for him to spawn and just uh, get those nice little multi kills with the sniper quad feeds or whatever um, and that was my first initial thought. Um, but it didn't. It didn't end up happening. But uh, I did just like switch off uh, uh, montage mode and go into commentary mode. I guess you could say. And it's kind of strange that I even have a different kind of mode for everything now. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just strange. Like, I, I guess I'll just like go straight into it. Like how the transitioning phase, I guess, happened. Um, when I was a kid, as most people who ki who are kid gamers as well played, I just played the game just to play it. Like, I didn't care if I won. I didn't care if I lost. I didn't care if my team lost. I didn't care about anything. As long as I had fun time playing the game, um, you know, I was okay. Like, uh, you know, I would usually just, like, play with my cousin or I'd play with my brothers, uh, maybe some friends. Uh, I didn't care. I just played games just to play games. I was, I guess, I was a super casual gamer at the time, especially being a kid. Um, but uh, as I got a little older, like my teenage years, I guess you could say, I really did start really caring about if I won or not. Like, I wouldn't always post, like, the greatest of scores. Like, for instance, Modern Warfare 2, I always wouldn't go, like, positive. I wouldn't I would have some, like, some type of negative score. Um, and I would always, like, not do the greatest. But as long as I won, I was happy. Um, and it's transpired from that to actually uh, for being a commentator like when my friend actually got me into commentating and he, he told me I should record gameplays and I post pretty good scores um, he said that you know you should actually record you should actually put a montage or not montage excuse me uh, gameplays and commentate over them and he's like come on man it's not that hard to do and so after he influenced me, I really started going for more gameplays. Like, I would always go for, like, really high uh, KD scores. Like, for instance, this gameplay is a 50 and 6. Like I said, I really don't like to tell my gameplays, my, my score anyway. But, you know, it was a pretty good score, you know. And, and that's what I considered a commentary gameplay. Um, you'll see on my channel, like, all you'll see is really high KD, um, high uh, action-packed sniping gameplay. And that is because... Uh, I think it's more enjoyable to watch someone get a lot of kills and a lot of low deaths on a gameplay than watching someone go, for instance, like 30 and 12 on a domination. Uh, not to hate on you if you do think that's a good score, but to me, anyway, I prefer to watch something w with a lot more uh, kills and a lot more substance, I guess. And I mean, hey, if you if you get a good amount of uh, moments in that gameplay where you went 30 and 12 on domination, go ahead and keep it. Like, as long as it's something entertaining, I'll, I'll watch it. But... If it's just, you know, you're getting an average amount of kills and an average amount of deaths with just average gameplay, I'm not going to be really excited. I think that's why actually a lot of you guys enjoy my gameplays is because they are really action-packed, and that's what I try and strive for. Um, and so hopefully you guys do see that. But what you'll also see um, in the future, for me anyway, is going to be for more of a montage type of player. Like, you'll see me rush a lot more, you'll see me go for a lot more clips, um, and... And you, because a lot of my members on TES are already like montage makers. They've been mo doing editing and everything for montages since the very beginning. Um, and I've only recently got my start towards the middle of Black Ops. So once Modern Warfare 3 comes out, it'll be a fresh start. It'll be something new for me to actually try and get montage clips. Like the reason why I'm actually telling you that is because my montage, The Way of the Samurai, my my premiere montage for you guys, uh, is going to be not that long. It's going to be maybe like five or six minutes long. Um, and that's because I only started recently going for clips and montages and quad feeds and stuff. Like, 
uh, once once I actually have more time, like I said, for Modern Warfare 3, I'll go for more clips and I'll have more time to get montage clips. Like, for instance, Zer Grizz. If you have checked out any of his uh, defib montages, you would see like they're like 12 minutes long each. Um, and that's because he went into Black Ops solely going for montage moments and if he so happens to get a gameplay that's what he'll post and that's how it's going to be from uh for me from now on and hopefully you guys still will, will watch me hopefully you guys will still enjoy the content i put out regardless but that's how it's pretty much going to be from now on um but yeah that's that's pretty much it you know leave a comment uh in the comment section if you agree with what i'm saying or if you don't um what i would really like you guys to do uh, for my subscribers who kind of just like view my videos but don't really like comment or rate or whatever to just please uh please do like it'd be very much appreciated like i mean you don't even have to comment uh, you don't even have to rate or dislike or whatever um but i would really appreciate a comment you know just let me let me know uh, if what i'm saying or if what i'm doing is is you know uh, what you guys want to hear um and like i said i'm always open to suggestions for commentaries and stuff if you guys ever want me to talk about a certain subject please just let me know um, i'm open to all ideas um you guys are all my subscribers you guys all enjoy my content obviously otherwise you wouldn't be here so please just Please be vocal. Uh, that's all I ask. Um, a lot of big things are going to come for the future for TS and for myself. Um, like, I, I'm planning on getting a partnership real soon. I'm not, like, you know, trying to say, like, oh, yeah, well, uh, that's all I wanted to do at the beginning. Because that's not what I wanted to do at the beginning. I didn't even want to start doing uh, YouTube, uh, at least until my friend uh, persuaded me to do it. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see me. Uh, be more of a kind of guy to try and get partnered and everything it's going to be an experience for sure and hey if i make it on machinima hopefully you guys will be there hopefully you guys will comment on there too and say oh yeah i was the one watching him before he got big so you know i just love you guys so much all my subscribers and if the fact that you actually stuck around for this long in the commentary to hear me say this uh, you know you guys are awesome you know that's straight to, to put it you guys are awesome but that's pretty much the gameplay. That's pretty much the commentary. It's gonna do, it's gonna come to a close real soon, but hopefully you enjoyed what I talked about. And like I said, leave a comment, rate, whatever, and uh, you guys can expect a lot more from me in the future. So, anyways, guys, this has been the Atomic J, and uh, thank you for sticking around with me. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.